So get the question about what if I have a project that I want to print off for students? What's the most accessible way to make that happen within Google Classroom? Uh, because otherwise, what ends up happening is you have to open up each assignment and, and you have to print them. So I have a system that works pretty well that requires that you have Google Drive file stream. I have it running right here right now. Um, and I have another video that I will have the link to that will allow you to be able to uh, install Google Drive file stream. This is really the smoothest and easiest way to go through this process. Um, and I highly recommend it anyway, just because it makes life simpler if you're a Google Drive user, because you can just drag and drop items in there and then they appear in your Google Drive. So that's another video. Please view that video. I'm going to go through this process, though, of what I would do if this was a project that I'm wanting to print off for the entire class. What I would do is I would set up an assignment. So I'll go to my classwork tab here, hit create assignment. I'm just going to call it a report. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have a template ready ahead of time. Now, you don't have to have anything on this template. Actually, you could have it blank. It just depends on what your purpose is. It's really simplest if you give the students a template ahead of time. And this is going to be a blank template because I want it as a Microsoft Word document. And the reason I want that is because I want to be able to massively print. Um, if they're in Google Docs format, you can't massively print them. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Download, and Download as a Microsoft Word. It'll go into my downloads on Google Chrome. I'm going to go back to my assignment. And since it's not in my Google Drive, I'm going to attach it. And if this isn't showing up down here, I can go and search for it, but I have it right here. So I'm gonna just drag it into there and upload it. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is make sure that each student gets a copy. Now, the reason why this is a great way to do it, I mean, you could potentially have the students all make theirs in Google Docs and then download it as a Word document and then upload it. But the nice thing about doing it this way is that you decide on the title and then it puts the student name on each copy. So that way it's easier to keep tabs up. I mean, it just depends on what your preferred workflow is. This is mine. So here is the title. I have a, I'm going to go ahead and set a due date. I always try and get in the habit of setting due dates. Um, and I have the topic and I have it make a copy for each student. I'll go ahead and assign this and then we'll look at it from the student's perspective. All right, and here's the student screen that you see the report and the student is able to then work on it. And it is in a Word document format. What you'll have to do is teach them that they need to go to this document, hit the three dots, hit open in new window. Then what the students need to do is go to open with and they'll choose Google Docs. And what's fantastic is that in the new version of Google Docs, it integrates extremely well with Microsoft Word. So then the students can go ahead and just utilize the document, just like it's a Google Doc, but you'll see right there, it says DocX, perfectly fine. And they can do the report. And then what they'll need to do is close out of this screen. It'll save it automatically. They can close out of this one as well. And then they'll be back in Google Classroom. You'll see that there's a little back arrow and they'll need to turn that in. So let me visit the actual assignment here. That might help and turn it in. Like so. Okay, so once your students have done all that and they've turned in their assignment, let me go back to my teacher screen here. And then you'll see that they are in there. But what I need to do is I need to utilize Google Drive file stream. And like I said, that's in a previous video that I'm attaching. And what I'm going to do is visit my Google Drive file stream. Click on the folder here. And it's going to take me right to Google Drive file stream. Here's my drive. And since this is in Google Classroom, this document will be located in my classroom folder. And my class is called my test class. And I'll find that assignment. And that assignment is the one that's called report. Now I'm in. So what would happen here is I would have all of the Word documents open and ready to go. And what I could do is select all of them that are in there. I could do that a lot of different ways. I could just select this icon here, but you might not have that ribbon there. If you don't, here's another option. If I hold down control and tap A, it would select every item in there in that folder. So that way I'd be ready to print them. Now, I don't know what this icon is right here, but what I do know is that I don't need it. So while holding down control, if I select that, 
it'll actually deselect it and it'll keep the rest of them. So remember, I held down control and clicked on that one to remove it from the collection. Now, it's hard to kind of visualize it because I don't have a bunch of documents in here for you to see that process. But just remember that control A selects all. If I hold down control and select one of them, it'll deselect it and then you're good to go. When I'm ready to print these, I can right click and I can hit the print button. It'll open in Microsoft Word and then Microsoft Word will close and it's gonna automatically print to whatever is my default, just like that. So it didn't give me printing options, it's just going wherever my default is. So make sure you know where your default location for printing is uh, at that moment. And if you're not sure, you may have to even just check default print and then you're able to determine what your default printer is at that time. So I can see that this one is default. All right, and that is a quick overview on how to utilize Google Drive file stream for quick printing of multiple documents. Hope this was helpful.